Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan with Titans of CNC. And today we're gonna program the Titan 200M. All right, the trophy. Check it out. Oh, with the crazy contours up here, with the legs over here, it's all hollow in the base, right? Uh, a couple things. The base is basically just like the Titan 139M. All right, so since I showed you how to program the base, in operation one of the Titan 139M. I'm not gonna teach you how to do it here, all right? So the 139M is kind of like the prerequisite. Get that done, figure it out, and then do operation A for this part by yourself. You can find the setup sheet for operation A in related files to the right of this video. And now that you have operation A completed and your part is looking just like this, we will program the rest of it all right so all right let's do it so first thing i'm going to do is actually do a little bit of house cleaning right here so oh uh, you got the nice kind of metal right here and the titans of cnc uh, looks good but i'm actually going to get rid of them i just like everything clean when i start all right so i'm just going to turn this guy off boom and boom all right nice and clean i'm going to close this back up and the first thing we're gonna do is do some roughing, all right? Some 3D adaptive. So the part is sitting, so your vise is gonna be down here. Boom, 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 right? And you're outside the machine looking at the part in the vise, okay? This is C-axis, if you have a UMC or like a DMU. And then this is B-axis, okay? So I gotta, I gotta have a good understanding of how the rotations work on the axis, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is actually flip it around and flip it down. And that's the first cut right there, all right? So let's get to it. So before I get too carried away, let's get the setup taken care of, which will be nice and easy, all right? So let's come up here, boom, there you go. I'm gonna come up here, model orientation, Z and X. Z is the bottom, so if you look at your setup sheet for operation B, you'll see X, Y, zero is center and it's on the bottom of the part, so it's right here. Boom, and then X, X is this way, boom, like this is facing, and then Z, let's flip it, and then let's flip X. All right, so Y is to the back of the machine, X is to the right, and Z is to the top. Now let's go model box point. And you see all the points come up. Let's just click it just to make it law right there. Boom. And let's go to stock. So now remember the bottom is already completed, right? This is already machined. So I don't need any stock down here. And the stock itself, this whole part is made out of 3.25 square bar stock right so let's just go ahead and make it so let's take this drop down all right so the model is 2.95 the stock is 3.25 so that's a difference of 0.300 divide that by 2 it's 150 so i'm going to come over here i'm just going to go 0.15 tab down 0.15 tab down 0.15 0.15 and then we're gonna go negative 2.95 and then 0.15. And this is how your part looks, or it should look, all right? And we're good. So now we're like, we're like boom. Then we're flipping it down like this again. And that's how we're gonna start. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, okay, looks good. Boom, now we're all set up. All right, so let's get to making some tool paths. So we're gonna go up here to 3D Adaptive. Boom, drop down. All right, so go ahead and select our tool. So you should already have all your tools loaded right here, okay? If you don't have them loaded, then look to the right side of this video in Related Files and go ahead and grab the tool list and load it into your Fusion, okay? And it's the same as the 139M. They're the same tools, okay? So I'm gonna click this guy. 
So the tool number one for this one is number four, it's the half inch. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna say okay, boom. First thing that you see is you can see that it's off, but we'll fix that afterwards, right? So it's thinking I'm gonna machine it like this, but I'm not. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna come up here. All right, so for RPMs, I'm gonna go 8,000. So now that you know you guys are here with, with me and we're actually programming five axis parts, right? So I'm programming this for the UMC 750. The UMC 750 has a 15,000 RPM spindle. Okay, if you have, you know, a 6,000 RPM spindle or you have a 5,000 or whatever it is, just make everything kind of relative, all right? So if you got 6,000, then program it at like 5,000 and do the same thing. If I feed at 100 inches per minute, then go ahead and feed at 25, like just slow everything down, okay? But I'm going to program this just at kind of a basic normal speed for a UMC 750, all right? So right here, I'm just gonna tab down, gonna tab down. I'm gonna leave this at 200 inches per minute. Tab down, 200, 200, ramping, 200, and plunging, 300. That all looks good, all right? So I come up here. Now I'm gonna say, see how this thing's over here and you see this like square? Because it's thinking I'm coming from the top. I'm going to switch it up right now. I'm going to say tool orientation and I'm going to say this is Z. Boom. And then I'm going to say this is X. Boom. See that? And now everything looks correct. You can see the box going around the material right there. Okay. Rest of the machine is on. I'm not even worried about it. I'm just going to say okay. I'm going to come up here. Say retract height. I'm just going model top. Same thing all the way through model top. You know, model top. You know, it doesn't really matter. You could put stock top. I'm just doing model top. So go ahead and uh, I'm going to right here. I'm going to say one inch. Over here, I'm going to say 0.5. And down here, I'm going to say zero. And then over here, I'm actually going to say model top. And then I'm gonna drop down a little bit more than halfway, right? So the square, the part is 2.95, okay? So I'm gonna actually drop down 1.6. So negative 1.6, boom. You can see it just goes a little bit more than halfway. And the tool has a tiny radius on it. And it'll just, it'll just overtake the stock a little bit more than halfway, all right? And it'll look good, okay? So I'm just gonna tab through. Now we're gonna come up here and 4 thousandths is fine, but I'll just tab through. Now right here, I'm just gonna go a light cut, right? It's aluminum, you know, but I'm just gonna go 50 thousandths just to keep it nice and light, all right? Because we're going full depth at 1.6 on the outsides of it. And I'm just gonna say 50 is fine. I'm not gonna machine cavities here. I don't want to go all the way through these pockets okay now I'm going to come down here I'm going to say 1.6 is the deepest but over here I'm going to actually say 0 0.050 okay because I just want the little steps to be nice and even so I got 50 up here and I got 50 over here all right stock to leave is 20 20 that looks good boom I'm going to come over here Say like maybe six inches right there. Let's say least, I'm gonna change this to probably 80%. It can go faster when it's not engaged in material. So I'm gonna, right here, I'm just gonna go 400, boom. Come down here, we're gonna go 50. You know, I think since we're taking off 50 thousandths of material radially, right? Let's go a little bit more than that. So let's go 100. Okay, I'm gonna go 20 on the vertical, it doesn't really matter, all right? And then over here, I'm gonna go plunge, boom, and that should be it, all right? So I'm just gonna hit okay. It's calculating up here, 56%. All right, so check out that toolpath. Oh, 
you know, no matter how much I program, I love it. I just love seeing the toolpaths come together. You can see like down at the bottom, it's just feeding and coming back and feeding and then it's lifting up and then it lifts up and moves over. Oh, it looks so good, so good. And you can see like, see this pattern right here? See that right there? Basically right here, see that? It doesn't go all the way through because I turned off cavity, like don't go in the cavity. So it went in where it could here, made a level, but it's leaving material over there. So by the time I'm done, you're still gonna have like solid material through here. Then we're gonna finish out here, which is gonna allow the outside to be more rigid, all right? So always thinking, and then we'll come back and clean it up. All right, does that sound good? Okay, so now I'm just gonna come over here. You know, right now I could do a pattern. I could say, okay, do the opposite side, but then a pattern would mess me up because later on when I need to use rest machining, it wouldn't see the tool path, all right? All I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna right click, I'm just gonna drop down, duplicate, boom, right click, edit. Everything's gonna stay exactly the same, but over here, I'm just gonna take this Z, boom, and I'm gonna hit down here, boom, okay? Now it's gonna do the bottom. It's gonna flip it, so I'm gonna say okay. Boom. All right, so I'm not explaining the flips as much because you did 139 and you get it, right? So we're kind of doing three plus two, right? And we're just kind of flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. Later on, when we're done with this part, I'm gonna do another video, put it right to the side. And we'll do some nice, full, simultaneous tool paths, all right? But right now we're just doing three plus two, we're just flipping it and I taught you how to do that in the Titan 139M, so I'm not gonna just keep repeating myself. All right, there's your toolpath. So I can come up here, boom, I can see that one. Come down here, boom, I can see that one. Nice and clean. But uh, what I know is that there's some little spaces here and there where there's gonna be like chunks of material. You have this flat here and here but you don't actually have it here and here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna duplicate again, but now I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna come straight down like on here.